All right, here guys, here's your guys' um, test number two review for you guys to practice and for you guys to just get a feel for solving these problems that will be on your guys' exam. So, first one, you guys, it says find the measure of one interior angle in each polygon <clears throat> round to the nearest tenth if necessary. So, the formula that we are going to use is 180 times n minus 2 divided by n. <coughs> so this formula will allow us to find uh, the measure of one interior angle in each polygon. And remember, n is the number of sides. So when we do this first problem, 180, there are five sides, right? So that's going to be our n value. And then we got you guys we just solve. So we got 180 times 3 all over 5. So 180 times 3, you guys, is 540. And 540 divided by 5, you guys, is 108 degrees. So each interior angle of this polygon is 108 degrees. <clears throat> now, if you have a 25 gone, right? Well, for the 25 gone, n be 25. So 180, 25 minus 2, all over 25. 180 times 23, all over 25. So 180 times 23, you guys, is 4,140, all over 25. Divide that by 25, and you get 165.6 degrees and that's the measure of each interior angle <coughs> of <coughs> a 25 god. Now when you guys try to find the interior angle sum for each polygon, here's the formula. This formula will allow you guys to find the total sum of all the interior angles of a polygon. And of course, n is the number of sides. So for a square, n is equal to 4, right? It has 4 sides. So 180 times 4 minus 2. 180 times 4 minus 2 is 2. 360 degrees. <coughs> All right, for a 10 gone, n is equal to 10. So 180 times 10 minus 2 which is 180 times 8, and that's going to simplify to 1,440 degrees. All right, find the measure of one exterior angle in each polygon round to the nearest tenth if necessary. So to find an exterior angle of a polygon, you got to do 360 divided by n. So this figure, it's a hexagon, it has six sides. So to find one exterior angle, 360 divided by six, and you're gonna get 60 degrees. <clears throat> okay, 30 gone. Well, you definitely know <coughs> a 30 gone has 30 sides. So 360 divided by 30, which is going to be 12 degrees. So one exterior angle is going to be 12 degrees. All right, so now we have these. So um, for these, you guys, for a figure like this, the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two remote interior angles. So this is the exterior angle, you guys. And these are your guys' two remote interior angles. 
So following the formula, we got 12x plus 20 is equal to the sum of the two remote interior angles. So as a result, we're going to have 12x plus 20 is equal to 50 plus 30. So then from here, you guys, you just solve. So 12x plus 20 is equal to 80. Subtract both sides by 20. And we're going to have 12x is equal to 60. Divide both by 12. And x is going to equal to 5. And we got that one. OK. <coughs> OK, so uh, for number 8, now, for number eight, you guys, just remember um, a triangle total sum of interior angles is equal to 180. So basically, you guys, the sum of all these interior angles, 3x plus 7x plus 10x is equal to 180. And then you guys just solve, so you're going to get 20x is equal to 180. Divide both sides by 20, x is equal to 9. 